portable solar power. Is it for you? Today we're gonna take a look at this bad boy. Yeah. Hey everyone, my name is Russell and we're here at my off-grid cabin at Raspberry Rock and today I'm going to show you this portable solar power system. This little bad boy has everything you need for power at your off-grid site, whether it's your cabin or your cottage or your hunt camp or even if you're car camping. You're not going to take it backpacking with you because it is heavy. It's about 60-70 pounds heavy. Um, yeah, so <laughs> you're not going to want to carry it very far. Now I'm going to go through the technical specifications first. Inside this, amazingly, are two monocrystalline solar panels. They're each 20 watts, so the whole system is 40 watts. They are charging a, and interestingly enough, the blue light comes on when they're, when they're charging. So they are charging a 48 amp hour, amp hour lead acid battery, a maintenance free lead acid battery. And I'm not quite sure what that means because most lead acid batteries require maintenance. Maybe they meant to say AGM in the paperwork and they just got it wrong. This is the side where all the fun happens. So what we've got on here, first of all, we've got an off and on button. So when you actually want to use it, you turn it on. You don't actually have to have it on to charge though. You can leave it off. As if the solar powers are getting light, they will charge the battery. So you turn it on. You've got lights here that kind of show what's going on. A green light if it's ready. There's another light, a blue light if it's charging. There's another light if you're overload, etc. Um, there's two 12 volt cigarette lighters on here. They will do 10 amps total. And there's also two 110 uh, AC outlets. So there is an inverter in here. It's a 150 watt inverter, so you're not going to run a whole lot of things like coffee makers or microwaves or hair dryers. Um, but you'll be able to certainly run lights, um, LED lights, lots of LED lights if you want, and other low wattage things, right? So there's a nice display on here that shows the voltage. Uh, so you, you can tell how charged the batteries are, which is really nice. It will stand nicely. It's got a stand here, but it also has wheels on it. And you can, whoops, it's not supposed to come up that far. But you can, uh, you can use it like a, so you can wheel it around like a piece of luggage if you want to. Woo. So as I was saying, you could easily charge like a 12 volt source in there if you wanted to, or um, you plug things in 110. Here I am plugging in my phone. And we've got an indicator here that we are under load, even though it's a small load. Low power would be, you know, when the when the batteries are low and it needs to be charged again. And the bat this battery indicator just means that hey, it's working, it's on. This turns blue if the the panels are grabbing on. In fact, I could do that right now. I could open up a little bit. It doesn't need much in the way of light. Try this without. There we go. So now it's charging even with that low bit of light that it's getting right there. Now let's say that you're about to head off to your cabin but it's at night and you forgot to charge up your your system with your panels during the day and you um, you don't have any more light of course because it's, it's nighttime. It also comes with a little extension cord. You can actually plug this in and then plug it into a normal wall outlet and it will charge it as well. So you've got two ways of charging your battery which I think is fantastic. So there you have a very versatile system and it's very simple to use. You just open it up and point it in the sun. The panels will charge the battery. You don't even have to have the system on. You can um, uh, charge up your phone or you can run lights off of it. You can run anything low wattage, under 150 watts that is. And you've got, or again, you've got the two DC charging ports or uh, power ports. You've got the two AC power ports. Ah, I just love it. It's just so versatile. So anyway, there you go. I think this is perfect for uh, cabins or cottages or um, car camping if you don't have any power, uh, especially if you just want to run some lights at night and you don't want to run your generator all night. This sort of thing is absolutely perfect, and I love it. So I'm going to put this sucker in the sun and let her charge up for a while. Oh, that'll do. 
do it. Awesome. So that's it. And we're just going to let it sit here and charge up. Guys, thanks for joining me on this video. If you want to see more videos of my life here at Raspberry Rock, then feel free to subscribe. Hi, Pop. Take care and we'll see you next time.